UK house prices fell more sharply than expected in November. That's according to Nationwide Building Society. Now, the mortgage lender said home prices fell 1.4% over the month, the fastest drop since June 2020. Our Lizzie Burden has been taking a deep dive into the figure. So, Lizzie, good morning. Walk us through the latest data. Well, Francine, all the data point in exactly the same direction, and that's to say that the UK is having a house price correction. The nationwide figures show that house prices fell the most in November since since the start of the pandemic, but if you ignore COVID, it's the biggest drop in growth since the financial crisis. We've also had figures from the Bank of England which show that mortgage approvals are at their lowest since uh, the start of the pandemic as well. And we've had data from Zoopla, the property portal, which show that the gap between asking prices and agreed prices is its widest since January 2021. So what's going on here? Well, we've had a mini boom in house prices driven by the the race for space, people wanting bigger gardens when they're working from home, the stamp duty cut, and of course, pandemic savings. But now we're having the perfect storm in the UK because we've seen uh, the rapid rise in mortgage rates, especially in the wake of Liz Truss's mini budget, a rise in taxes after Jeremy Hunt's fiscal statement, and both feeding into the cost of living crisis here in the UK. But where you've seen other asset classes rapidly rapidly readjusting to the global interest rate environment, house prices are only just starting to catch on. So Lizzie, what lies ahead? How much more are prices likely to drop? Well, the Office for Budget Responsibility has forecast a 9% drop over the next two years, but there are a number of factors that could mitigate against that. So we've got a very well-capitalised banking sector in the UK. The poorest third of households actually only hold about 5% of mortgage debt. You've also got many more people on fixed-rate mortgages now than in 2008. And you can always hope that we don't get a big job shakeout during this recession. But I've been looking back Francine at history and they've picked out the four biggest house price falls over the past century and what you can see from the 1950s experiences you don't necessarily need a big spike in unemployment as a prerequisite for a house price fall but what we can also learn from history is that on average it takes about eight years for house prices to correct themselves so reality is they they fall fast and they rise slowly